Okay, working an example of a first order Bernoulli equation. So remember, we basically have the extension of some linear form, and we're multiplying the right hand side here by y to some power. So remember, the first step is going to be to divide by that y to whatever power. Here it's y squared. So we're going to divide the entire equation by y squared. That will give us then y to the minus 2 dy dx minus 1 over x y to the minus 1 equal to x. And now we simply remember the second step is to make a substitution for whatever power of y we get here next to f of x. So step 2, we're going to substitute. And we'll go ahead and substitute v is equal to y to the minus 1. And when we take the derivative of that, in other words, dv dx, that will just give us negative 1 y to the minus 2 dy dx. Chain rule there gives us that dy dx. So we're very close to this. We're just off by a sign. So in other words, negative dv dx is equal to positive y to the minus 2 dy dx. So we just took this equation here and we multiplied it by negative 1 on both sides. Okay, so if we use this expression and this expression and substitute in here, then that will give us negative dv dx minus 1 over x times v equals x. And now if I go ahead and get rid of the negative in front here, we'll multiply through everything by negative 1. And so that gives us dv dx plus 1 over xv equal to negative x. So here f of x now is equal to 1 over x and g of x is equal to negative x. So the next thing we'll do is start using linear methods and we'll find an integrating factor. So the integrating factor, remember, is going to be e to the integral of f of x, which is 1 over x dx. And so that will give us e to the ln of x, which then gives us x as an integrating factor. So we then take the equation and we multiply through the entire equation by our integrating factor x. So that'll give us x times dv dx plus x times 1 over x will reduce to 1, just giving us v there, equals negative x squared. And now if we integrate both sides dx, then we are very close. The left side here is a product rule as usual, so that's our integrating factor times our dependent variable there, so x times v is equal to, when we integrate negative x squared, we get negative x cubed over 3 plus c. We'll then go ahead and divide both sides by x, so that gives us v is equal to negative one-third x squared plus c over x. And then we just want to go ahead and convert back to our original variable y. So remember, our substitution was v equals y to minus 1. In other words, v is equal to 1 over y. So then what we have here is actually going to give us 1 over y is equal to negative 1 third x squared plus c over x.